aluminum lathe, the chucks on these machines need to be adjusted for runout when they are remounted since the chuck does not locate directly on the spindle taper. Andrew attaches an indicator and sets the indicator stylus against the chuck body. The chuck on this TL1 has been serviced and reinstalled, but the mounting screws have not been tightened yet. With three of the six chuck screws loose and the other three just snugged and an indicator in place, check the radial runout of the chuck. Given Andrew's indicator position, it will be easiest to tap the chuck away from him. Therefore, he finds the high point of travel. Then he uses a light mallet beside the indicator to tap the chuck away from the high point. Tap until the chuck has moved to the midpoint of the total runout. Repeat this sequence of finding the high spot and adjusting out half of the error until the runout is reduced to less than 5 ten thousandths. Carefully seat the screws in a star pattern and torque them to the recommended value. Finally, recheck runout one more time to verify the chuck did not shift during tightening. Unfortunately, there are times when chucks aren't properly maintained. Let's look at the results you should expect when chuck maintenance is neglected. If you find that the draw nut area is covered with accumulated dirt and debris, you should first clean the area to evaluate the extent of the problem. You may find, as Andrew has here, that there is significant corrosion where the draw tube and draw nut fasten together. Once suitably clean, attempt to remove the draw nut. If the corrosion damage prevents the nut from unscrewing easily, Resist the temptation to use cheater bars or hammer blows to increase the amount of force delivered to the draw nut. This will only damage the nut and the tool, making it impossible to rotate even if you manage to get it unstuck. Penetrating oil can sometimes be effective in loosening rusted draw nut threads. Spray the oil liberally in between the threads and allow it to sit overnight. If the penetrating oil doesn't do the trick, Contact your local HFO for information on more involved disassembly methods. And remember that all this headache can be avoided if the chuck isn't neglected, but instead is maintained at regular intervals. Thank you for watching this lathe chuck remove and replace video.